Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my own lures. Um, these are just lures or old soft plastics that um, basically get ruined or use a wacky rig and they break and you just don't want to throw them out, you want to reuse them. So um, I'm going to show you the process of what I do and then the end we'll have um, some clips of me catching fish with them. So uh, let's get straight into it. Um, you're going to need a glass measuring cup. Um, doesn't really matter. I mean, I guess depends on how much you want to make. This one goes all the way up to a quart. Um, you need some scissors, a knife, some type of rag or t-shirt or whatever, a tube. I use this. This is from, a, I have a fish tank and you'll have a what are you doing? Get out of that. <laughs> you'll have a, uh, for when you clean your tank, you'll have a gravel cleaner, um, vacuum, gravel, whatever, you know what I mean. And I uh, clog the tube at the end with a, um, some, it doesn't matter what you use, just clog, the end, clog one side and um, just cut it whatever length you want, really. Um, your baits, your soft plastics, um, if you want to use a mold or something, whatever. Here's some soft plastic just got out the bags. And here's some more. And then the last thing is I just use some Pam Original. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to make this color, which is like a shad color. And I got some crawfish in here that are red. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start cutting these baits up and putting them in this uh, measuring glass. So what I'm going to do is just start cutting them in any bitty pieces. Just like that. And I will get back to you when I'm done. Alright, so I just finished up. I just cut all of these baits with my scissors. In a decent amount. It's like a small size. That's all you want. The smaller you cut them, the quicker it'll uh, get done. I put these in the microwave, put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds to start. Alright, a minute's over. It's starting to get a little warm here. So now I'm going to start stirring it up. Take this uh, like that. Put it back in the microwave. Do another minute. Oh. As this thing gets hot, we're gonna start gonna use this oil uh, rag. Alright. See it's really bubbly right now, you just wanna stir that. Sure, see what this is gonna look like because it's got a lot of red flake in it. Try not to stir it right above your face, get all the chemicals and stuff right in your face. And your nose. That looks pretty good, but I think I'm gonna go another 30 seconds on that. Put this right back. Microwave. So what I'm looking for is it to be just real soupy. I don't want it to be real thick. Hopefully this next batch will be done after this 30 seconds. Alright, I think this is it right here. Yeah, that's exactly what you're looking for right there. See how it's dripping like that. Perfect. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Pam. I'm going to lube this tube. Make sure it's shut on one end. So I'm going to spray it down in here. 
let it do its thing and let it just make sure it gets down all the way down to the bottom of it. If it doesn't, then there's this is the only way you're gonna get your bait out. So make sure you're pretty generous with it. And just make sure you get the whole tube. Okay, after that, I'm gonna take this. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. I like to pour it over um, the tin. Alright, I'm gonna do it like this. So I'm gonna burn my hand. I'm gonna start pouring this in the tube. It's really important that you get a uh, a rag that you don't care about because it can get pretty messy. Alright. So done. Alright. Get all those bubbles hit the top. Don't let this stuff get on your bare skin because it will, it will burn you. It's very hot. That's why you have to get a glass measuring cup because it will melt that plastic. This is going to be a weird color, but we'll see. I've done this a few times, and believe it or not, the plastic does not break on this, uh, this tube that I use for cleaning my fish tank. Get all these air bubbles out. I try to. The big ones, at least, so you can put more in, pull more plastic in. Alright, I got that topped off now. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just. Uh oh. Something happened. Something's going on here. Oh, wait, no, I'm good, I'm good. Alright. Now I'm just gonna let this thing just lay, just lay like this, and just let it uh, consolidate. All right, guys, looks like it's about done. It's not really hot anymore, and with that uh, that oil, you can just push it up to the top where it's on the overflow, and just start pulling real, really slowly. You should notice that the whole thing should start. Slowly sliding out. Do it really slow or else you could possibly rip the bait. Alrighty. So this one, it's not exactly perfect, but the inside, like the middle part of it is really good looking. It's probably about, I'd say, seven inches of a good quality bait that I would use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this side because this side isn't even. I'm going to cut it. Just use my nail and then put the side I think I might use in the cold water. And then what I'll do is I will get this um, get this out the microwave. I don't want to use these anymore. Just drop them back in here. Put it in there for a minute. And you can start doing your next batch. Right, this is the outcome of what I just made. That's my best one. And this one just came out. See, it's a little bit darker. But uh, just let it sit in some cold water. This is the first one. It wasn't too bad. Like five inch. It would be. Well, this one's like. Let's say. That one's pretty long. That's probably pushing like 10 inches, 11 inches. But uh, for these ones, I could, I could just cut them up, re pour them. Or I could just use these for like finesse, finesse worm. I don't know what I could use this one for. Just wacky rig it or a Texas rig it. So uh, now I'm going to show you the fish that I've caught on this. That one. First fish on the homemade uh, homemade worm. He hammered it. 
Nice chunker. This is the first bite of the day. There it goes. <laughs> Same spot as last time. Just a little dank, but uh, using that um, homemade worm I just made. Another dank. A little smaller than the last one I caught. It's pretty fun when you catch them on your own, like a bait you made yourself. I was trying to think of the name of the lure. Then I remember it, I made it myself. I have to come up with a name for it. Also, um, make sure that when you're done with this, clean your counter really good, wipe it down, and um, make sure that you wash your hands before you eat any food. So make sure you do that stuff so you don't get sick. And um, don't eat, don't put anything in this this measuring glass other than plastic and um, let this this stuff will um, I guess solidate just let it harden up and then once it's all hardened you can just peel it all out it will all come out in one piece so yeah that wraps it up for this part <laughs>